hello everyone this is power up with powerpoint again welcome to my next video on powerpoint basics in this video we are going to see different methods of duplicating a shape in powerpoint this is going to be a short video but if you know all the different methods and shortcut keys to each of those methods it is going to save a lot of time for you and also increase the speed of designing any slide or infographics so let's get started There are four different methods using which you can duplicate a shape. The first method is copy and paste and the shortcut keys for that is control C and control V. You can select a shape. You can right click and then choose copy here. And then while pasting, you need to choose the first option under paste options. This will create a duplicate for you. Also, you can make use of shortcut keys of control C and control V. You can select a shape, hit control C on your keyboard for copy and then control V on your keyboard to paste the shape. Even this will create a duplicate shape. The next method is using control hot key. You can select a shape and then hold control key on your keyboard and then drag the shape. You can drag it to any position you want and then leave it. It will create a duplicate shape for you. The next method is using control and shift hot keys. You can select the shape and then press Ctrl and Shift keys on your keyboard and then drag the shape. The moment you drag the shape, you will see either the shape will be horizontally aligned or it will be vertically aligned. It will not move to any other position. So the moment you leave the mouse cursor, it will create a duplicate shape at that position. So this is the basic difference between Ctrl and drag and Ctrl and Shift plus drag. Ctrl and drag will give the freedom to place the shape at any custom position while control plus shift plus drag will constrain the motion in vertical or in horizontal direction. The last but not the least method and the most commonly used method to duplicate a shape in PowerPoint is using shortcut key of control plus D. You can select a shape and then hit control plus D on your keyboard. It will duplicate a shape for you. But there are few important points to notice when you create a duplicate shape using Ctrl plus D. I will tell you what are those. Let me delete all these shapes first. Now you can create the duplicate of this shape. Select the shape and hit Ctrl D on your keyboard. Now here is the important point. Without deselecting this duplicate shape, you can place it at some fixed position from the original shape and then hit Ctrl D again. Observe what happens now. The another duplicate shape is created at the same fixed position as that of previous duplicate shape. So if you keep on hitting Ctrl D, it will create the duplicate shape at the same fixed position at every instance. The moment you deselect this duplicate shape and then select it again, now hit Ctrl D, you will lose that fixed position. So the point to remember here is, the moment you decide any fixed position of duplicate shape, the PowerPoint will remember that position and it will keep on reiterating it again and again whenever you duplicate the shape using Ctrl plus D. Now let us see how to make use of this feature when creating any designs. Let me go to second slide. In this slide, I have a circle and a rectangle. Let me create a duplicate of this rectangle using Ctrl D. Please note, you must not deselect this duplicate rectangle at any point of time. I'm going to change the color of this rectangle for the sake of understanding. And then overlap both the rectangles at the same position. They must be exactly at the same position. Now without deselecting this rectangle, hit Ctrl D once again. There will be a duplicate shape of this rectangle, but it is overlapping with the original black color rectangle. So how to find that? You can use the shortcut key of Ctrl plus Shift key on your keyboard and then rotate this shape by 15 degrees. See there are two rectangles with black color. Now again you can hit Ctrl D. Again there is a duplicate shape but it is again overlapping with this black color rectangle. Again hold the Ctrl plus Shift key. Rotate this duplicate shape by 15 degrees. You can continue doing in the same way. Hit Ctrl D. Hold Ctrl plus Shift key and then rotate this shape by 15 degrees. 
hit control D to duplicate, hold control plus shift key to rotate it by 15 degrees. You can continue doing in the same way to create this set of rectangles all over the circle. I hope you got the trick. And that comes to the end of my video. I believe people might have learned something new in this video. If that is the case, then please like this video, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.